The guerrilla leaders vow Bethelisca Hammonds. My battle vow, no minister walls gave back the burning word, no cross nor shrine the loud deep town of smothered vengeance heard. But the ashes of a ruined home frilled as it sternly rose with a mingling voice of blood that shook the midnight's dark repose. I breathed not our kingly tombs, but where my children lay, and the startled vulture at my step soared from their precious clay. I stood amidst my dead alone, I kissed her lips, I poured in the strong silence of her hour my spirit on my sword. The roof tree fallen, the smouldering floor, the blackened threshold stone, a bright haired horn, and soiled with blood whose fountain was my own. These and the everlasting hills bore witness that a wild night before them rose the Euphanger's soul and crushed affection's might. The stars, the searching stars of heaven, with keen looks, would upraid. If for my heart a fire woe well, seared honoured then could fade. I have no cause. Go, ask the streams that by my paths have swept, the red waves that unstain the bourne, how half my faith been kept. And other eyes are on my soul that never, never close the sad, sweet glances of the lost. Believe me, no repose, haunting my night watch midst the rocks. My baton's foam through the dark rolling mists, they shine full, full of love and home. Alas, the mountain eagle's heart, and wronged, may yet find rest. Scorning the place made desolate, he seeks another nest. But I, your soft looks awake the first, that winds the quenching rain, you drive me back, my beautiful, to stop me fight again.